What up guys, James here from Mono Cigar Views, and today is part two of how to make pipe tobacco. Today we're looking at my tobacco press. Let's get into it. See here, we have this piece of the heck? So this is my pipe tobacco press. As you can see, we have a five inch um, C clamp. This is the kind you get from Harbor Freight. Very affordable, pretty small too. We also have a piece of PVC. This is a compression chamber, I think. It's very durable PVC. It's not standard PVC. It's designed for high, high pressure. And that was like 10 bucks, I think at Home Depot. So this has been in the press for five days, basically, it's up to you how long you want to press it. You could press it for a couple weeks. You could press it for a couple hours, a couple days. It all depends on you know your style, I guess, and what you what you want to achieve. All right. So inside there is some parchment paper with some pieces of wood that I cut out into a circle, and same thing on the bottom. So um, it's very very simple. All right. So here I'm just gonna pound out the bottom. You're probably gonna make a mess, so get lots of paper towel because it's probably gonna be dripping everywhere. Whoa! <laughs> All right, check that out. Isn't that gnarly looking? All these tobacco juices come out the sides. So you're, gonna, you're definitely gonna want gloves. I've already kind of cleaned it a little bit, so it's not nearly as bad. So here's like two pieces of, uh, I think they were corner pieces of, of like crown molding. Oh, it's all sticky. Check that out. So the reason why I picked like a crown molding piece is so my cake would look really cool and like circular. Um, just, to, just for a design. So I just use the, the flat bottom and the uh, circular top. So it just looks cool. It's for, you know, it's for my personal aesthetic. Super sticky. Probably gonna stain everything too. If you're gonna do this, do this like in a super, you know, like outdoor area, maybe a garage. All right, so here's the original and here's the cake. Uh, as you can see, this is super compact. I mean, it'll probably fit in the, look at that, it'll fit in there. So if you don't really have a lot of space, you can probably press down your tobaccos to fit them into tiny jars. I'm actually surprised how well it turned out for my first one. Another reason why I chose PVC is because it's super easy to clean. It's very slippery. It won't like really rust or corrode or anything. All right, let's cut it up here. It's hard like a, like a brick. And then let's see here. I'd probably do something like this. Well, that's probably close to a bowl once I fluff it out. So one of the reasons why you press your tobacco is so you can get the, the juices all kind of combined evenly and it kind of mellows out a little bit. So that would be plenty for a bowl right there. So maybe I would let this dry for 30 minutes or so. All right, so I figured we'd enjoy the fruits of our labor now. So I got some Lafroig. This is a nice, super peaty scotch. It's actually my first like, you know, powerhouse scotch. I don't think I've ever had a, a really peaty scotch. I mean, not like this. This is, you know, I had some last night and I was just kind of like, whoa. It's smoky, salty. It's almost like putrid, like in a, like, like iodine people said. And then you drink it and it's like super warming and inviting. I've had maybe like six or seven scotches. This is not something I would, I would recommend for like the newbie because this will turn them away quickly. I'm just grabbing a pinch and gravity feeding it in. <laughs> it looks like it'd be more bold because the colors are dark and it's a firm brick, but it's actually mellowed out quite a bit. I think this is a good pairing right here. <coughs> Too strong. That's kind of spicy and smoky and almost salty. And uh, this is just kind of the same thing. They're, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, so my original idea would be, you know, this would be like a homemade version of McClellan's um, Frogmorton Cellar, but it's really not like that at all. Not nearly as sweet, more spicy, more full bodied, more Latakia probably actually too spicy. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the, in the blah, blah. Excellent, yes, excellent. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the description. No, wait. So definitely let me know if you guys have tried this, if you've made your own presses, if you've uh, made flakes before or cakes or whatever you've done, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. And uh, let me know also if you've had any Lefroy, cause this stuff is, it's powerful. It's it's really powerful stuff. It'll get you. So, so thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.